Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 1st of 2024 is titled IC 1795, the Fishhead Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, you may see a fish up in the sky and you can try to make out the fish, the head of a fish here. And this is actually part of a star forming region known by its catalog designation of IC 1795. Now, this is not a true color image. The colors are actually uh, put together by looking at three different filters and then coding those to each of a different color. So we're looking at three narrow bands, the emission of three very specific elements, and that would be oxygen, hydrogen, and sulfur. And this is sometimes what is known as the Hubble color palette, as it was used often with Hubble Space Telescope images. So what we see here is oxygen in blue. We see the hydrogen in green and we see the sulfur in red. Now that does not mean that those regions are loaded with those specific elements. In fact, the vast majority of this is all hydrogen, regardless of what colors you see. However, the elements glow not based on how many atoms of each element there are, but on how efficiently those atoms are excited. So if they are excited well, if the temperatures and the conditions within the nebula at that location are right, then we will see it glow brightly with that color. Now we can see similar things in our own sun. The sun has very strong lines of things like sodium and calcium, even though they make up only a tiny fraction of the atoms within the sun. And that's because the sun's temperature is just right to excite those. So they are all very well excited, giving us very strong uh, lines of those elements. Whereas hydrogen in the sun is weak by comparison, especially when you consider that most of the atoms in the sun are hydrogen. The sun is just not efficient at exciting hydrogen atoms as a much hotter star would be. Now again, this is part of a star forming region and we see the emission of those various elements and we also see dark nebulae scattered around. So darker dusty areas that indicate the presence of excess material. So more material there where stars are currently forming. And that star formation will continue. Eventually, the stars that form will eat away at the fish head here and will wipe out all of the gaseous material that we see and the dusty material that will all get pushed away. And eventually, in a million years or a few million years, left behind will be just a cluster of stars. So a new young cluster of stars in the process of forming now that will have finished and their energy will eventually clear out the rest of the excess material within the nebula. So that was our picture of the day for May 1st of 2024. It was titled IC 1795 the Fishhead Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.